Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. If you want to know who this is, this is Tyson Fury, or should I say Tyson McFlurry. This is the guy who cheated in his boxing match with Deontay Wilder last year to steal the WBC World Heavyweight title away from Deontay Wilder because he used tampered gloves and hired someone to spike Deontay's drink. Now he wants to try to go into a fight with Anthony Joshua to avoid Deontay Wilder after there was a contract that promised a third flight with Wilder and because people question how McFlurry over here won his match. And we know that he is going to find a way to cheat Anthony Joshua out of his three belts and cheat his way to becoming undisputed. We just know Tyson McFlurry is capable. He's capable of a lot of things. Uh, he's a racist. Uh, and then you'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He just will sing a B.I.G. song. And I was like, no, 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 no. He's a racist. He knows not to use that word. And we all know what that word is we're talking about he's a drug cheat he's been popped before for drug for using enhancement drugs he's suicidal he's a he's a moron he's a joke he's a racist and he's a cheater and they said that he's cheated in his boxing matches before he's even bragged about cheating in boxing but now this is even worse, or just as equally as worse. So we found out that he was working with someone by the name of Daniel Kenahan to help with the boxing match. Uh, put, um, um, he was supposed to help in trying to um, get the uh, help set up the matchup with Anthony Joshua. And we even have the video footage. Thinking... Daniel Kinahan. Here it is. Hello there. I'm just after getting off the phone with Daniel Kinahan. Uh, he's just informed me that the biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Give them my boy! Uh, big shout out, Dan. He got this done. Um, literally over the line. Two fight deal. Uh, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua uh, next year. One problem. I just got to smash Deontay Wilder's face right in. Whatever. No, you're going to cheat. You're trying to cheat. No, you want to cheat to uh, become undisputed. That's what you're trying to do. Um, and you probably want to know, who is Daniel Kenahan anyway? Well, I heard a lot of people are trying to turn away from Daniel Kenahan. Oh, by the way, this is a picture of Daniel Canahan right here. And look, it's Tyson McFlurry, the cheater himself. Yeah, this is Daniel Canahan. Well, this guy, uh, a lot of people are trying to walk away from Daniel Canahan. Because, and I think you saw in that um, other article that I was looking at to show you the, the video, Daniel Kenahan is involved with crime. He's a crime boss. And it says here that the MTK Global, which promotes Tyson Fury in the UK, while Top Rank, which is an American promotion company, promotes Tyson Fury here in the States. Um, this guy is a crime boss. Well, we heard of the history of how boxing was once run by the mafia and stuff like that. Well, now you even see some of that today with this Daniel Kenahan character. And that's why a lot of people are turning away because they don't want to be associated with a crime boss. But guess what? You are, you decided this on yourselves. And notice that the lamestream media is not talking about this. Don't has he been involved with Dan, uh, with Tyson McFlurry before? Uh, that's something that maybe people need to start looking into. 
So, yeah, this... Daniel Cannington uh, appears to be at the heart of campaigning to sports watch his image as suspected boss of a $1 billion cartel. So they're trying, see, Daniel Can Canahan is trying to get his reputation as a, uh, as a crime boss washed away. And I uh, want to you even have other boxers trying to defend Tyson Fury and David Canahan. Like this idiot right here, Billy Joe Saunders, who's another boxer. Or should I just call him Silly Ho Saunders? That's what I call him. Uh, reporters rebuff Billy Joe, Silly Ho Saunders offer to fix Daniel Canahan interview. In other words, this, this bastard, Silly Ho Saunders, wants journalists to say all kinds of nice things about Daniel Canahan to wash away his criminal past. Yeah, you even have it in this article. Sanders tried and failed. You see, he's trying to, he's threatening the, the, the press to try to say good things about Daniel Canahan because he wants to uh, help Tyson McFlurry, his fellow countrymen. And journalists are even saying, no way, we're, we're not going to ruin our reputation by saying good things about this crime boss. You can forget that. Hold on. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, this guy right here, Daniel Kenahan, is a crime boss. Yeah. So, but people want to say that Tyson McFlurry is a squeaky clean boxer that he he has his hands clean and stuff. No, he doesn't. Tyson Fury does not have his hands clean. Remember, he cheated Deontay Wilder he, oh, with the tampered boxing gloves and spiked water and stuff like that. Now we found, and of course he's been, and poor Tyson Fury has also been caught on drugs and stuff like that. You don't think, we, we don't think uh, he would be hanging out with the mob, but apparently he does. And people are trying to to uh, brush this story off the rug. Because I bet you, I bet you, if a black fighter was hanging around with the Crips and Bloods, y'all, the mainstream media will be posting it all over the place. They want to try to make this the number one news story if a boss, black boxer was hanging out with the Crips and Bloods and stuff. But they want to ignore the fact that Tyson McFlurry, um, that uh, Tyson McFlurry, Oh, sorry about that. That uh, Tyson McFlurry right here, the cheater who cheated out Deontay Wilder, was hanging out with the crime boss, Daniel Kenahan. And I heard that Daniel Kenahan is banned in numerous of nations, including here in the States. So, screw him. Screw Tyson McFlurry. Uh, they're both criminals. They are both criminals. Because what what Tyson McFlurry did should be uh, had him in jail. He could have nearly killed Deontay Wilder. He uh, he should be in jail for that. I bet you Daniel Kenahan probably put Tyson Fury up to cheating Deontay Wilder. I bet you Daniel Kennington was doing stuff to help De um, De um, Tyson Fury tr cheat Deontay Wilder. I would not be surprised. Probably said that you need to try to literally kill Deontay Wilder. I would not be surprised if Danny Canahan was responsible for giving Deontay, uh, Tyson Fury the drugs to drugs uh, Deontay Wilder's water. But this shows you right here the kind of the content of character of Tyson McFlurry that he's willing to hang that he is no good. And that he, he's even willing to hang out with crime bosses like Daniel Canahan. Tyson McFlurry is a criminal just like Daniel Canahan. But I know some ignorant Tyson McFlurry supporters are probably going to come on to my chat room saying, uh, trying to defend this and try to attack me like they did the last video I did on Deontay Wilder. I mean, on, yeah, on Tyson McFlurry. But I tell you what. Just like that video, I will delete your comments and block you.
But that's all I have to say. For those who support my channel, I only want to hear from those who support my channel what they think about this situation. But do be careful because of the community guidelines on YouTube. So don't write anything that could get your your comment hidden or removed. Um, so think about, uh, so be careful how you write your comments, but I still want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Uh, make sure, um, uh, make sure you share the video, hit that like button. I really hit help with the like button and sharing the video that helps with notification and also spreads the message out. Make sure you also subscribe and hit that notification bell. But that's all I have to say about this. Um, these two can go to hell. Um, but this is J-Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.